But if you gravitate towards Bitcoin, you know, it, it's proved its longevity. And, you know, like I, for all of the people who I told not to invest in it years ago, I apologize. So, so Nick, um, I'm interested yeah. in your views on cryptocurrency. Is it brilliant or is it <laughs> BS? I don't know. I, look, I've always veered towards the BS answer. Um, but it's still here. So um, the, <laughs> there's, there's a little bit more about it than, uh, th than that. I think it depends, you know, which cryptocurrency you're talking about. Um, you know, like I, um, I, as I've already mentioned, I'm of a certain age. So I, you know, if I look into the future, I just see a way that the central banks will try to squeeze it out um, in the future, be that it's their own digital currency or, or, or some other measure, maybe there's some, uh, you know, some fairly heavy controls around it, and, um, uh, and 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 maybe the way that they allow banks to trade it, which kind of takes um, takes some of the luster away from it. But you know, I I think it's something that uh, I mean, Bitcoin obviously is the is the key example. It's the one that everybody talks about. Um, it's the one that gets lots of coverage in the press. But there's you know, there's so many bad ones around as well. So there's, you know, there's definite scams. There's a certain amount of BS. But if you gravitate towards Bitcoin, you know, it, it's proved its longevity. And, you know, like I, for all of the people who I told not to invest in it years ago, I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, that that's always the problem. That's that's the problem with trading, isn't it? When it when the markets yeah. eventually move, you know, with absolute unambiguity, what would have worked and what wouldn't have worked. But yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's certainly capturing uh, the the minds of the globe at the moment. What's your view on it, Andrew? Same question. My view is, <clears throat> for those that don't know, Nick and I are exactly the same age. I think there's about twelve hours between us. Born back in 1967. But he's clearly showing his age much more than me. He's got to get rid of them, mate. He's got to get rid of them. He's got to get rid of them. It's a, time, it's a sign of the times, mate. Um, you've got to move with the times. Yeah. Um, so what I think, I actually agree with him, to be honest. It's a sign of the times. It doesn't make him forget this thing, does it? Bit old. Uh, I'll tell you what I think about Bitcoin. I, look, <clears throat> um, I, I, I buy Bitcoin every month. I buy... I, I don't even look at the price on a daily. Uh, it's, I have a standing order coming from my Bitcoin uh, account to, to spend a little bit of money. It's the same amount every month on Bitcoin, no matter where it is. And I just build up a portfolio in the belief that my daughter's, my youngest is 12. I believe that she will be talking about Bitcoin at university, in which case she is going to have a lot of money in there, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know where Bitcoin's going. What I do like about it all is... Um, is basically this. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people out there, I mean, at the end of the day, if you can share my screens there, folks, I mean, um, uh, you know, at the end of the day, there is so much in terms of, um, you know, a, a, so much you can trade. And as we know, in you know, trading, it's basically, if it's going up, we'll get on it. If it's going down, we'll get on it. And now, if you are day trading, if you're trading off the technicals and you're just looking at, you know, the charts, then... You can be trading Bitcoin or any of these altcoins. Look how many there are up here. You can see there's so many different coins now, and especially ACAP. ACAP are offering all these ultra coins that you can trade on the weekend. A lot of people have day jobs. Yeah, People can't trade during the day. If people want to be scalping on a five-minute chart, you don't want to be doing that when you're just coming home from you know, from your day shift. You know, you want to be trading you know, for two or three hours at a time to picking those opportunities, not just trading for the sake of it. So if you are in that, mindset and that you can't well not mindset but if you're in that sort of set where you can't basically um you know trade the screens intraday during the active time weekends perfect time this is going to be open this is open you know 24 7 so the opportunities are there of course you can see all the different um you know all the different uh um you know altcoins you can have i mean i don't know how many eight cap are offering now i think it's at 230 or something like that so the opportunities are great uh, for that. Of course, the bitcoins are, you know, the, sort of the, the, the mother of them all. A lot of them tend to follow as well. Nick's right. A lot of them won't be here in a year's time. A lot of them won't be here in two years' time. But if I'm on a 15-minute chart, you know, I'm trying to make some money on a 15-minute chart. Technicals work on basically anything, whether it's the Dow, whether it's the, whether it's um, you know, the uh, you know, uh, ultra new ultra, you know, altcoin. Um, then, uh, you know, then they're there. So for me, you can't ignore it. Um, I don't think my kids will be ignoring it. So I think we have to. And in fact, you mentioned earlier, before we came on camera, Simon, 
that you, know, you run a bit of your business using it as, as a payment part of the payment. Mm. I mean, it's, businesses are doing it. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, here in the UK or wherever you are in the world, it's going to be accepted. I think um, banks have to accept it. And what will happen more likely is that the, the fact that when they have to accept it, you know, um, and maybe even try to regulate it at some point, it's only going to be better for it. Um, yeah. I think it's, it's here to stay, guys. Yeah, I think that's certainly an interesting. I, I like the fact that you put in uh, sort of a small amount over a long period of time on a flash drive. I mean, Bitcoin, of course, has its own futures market now, so it certainly appears yeah. to be the main one that's 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 here to stay. And I take your point about the technical aspect. I think when we initially saw the sort of uh, hype that Bitcoin 2016, 17, the question was, was it going to behave technically? And as we've seen the price action, obviously, right over these past few years, I think you'd agree with me. It's quite. It's become quite technical and tradable, and that is a great point. That you know, with it been open at the weekend, eight cap having two hundred and fifty of them. I think we have like only a twelve point spread on Bitcoin. It means that traders can, at the weekend, actually go and, and go and trade if if they do have those day jobs. If people are returning to offices after um, furlough or working from home, it probably is the one. No wonder it piqued so many people's interest. Right, we are getting a bit squeezed. For